okay, who here has seen a play before? Okay, who here has seen a movie before? Who's seen a TV show? I see a lot of hands, that's a good sign. Okay, so who is the mastermind behind that play, TV show, or movie you've just watched? Is it the director who probably got brought everything together? Was it the actors who decided to decide to take everything and go for it? Well, there's one other player in this that you might want to think about is the playwright and the screenwriter. These people work behind the scenes and they help turn the fantasy into reality. Sure, most of the time it's not going to be the director saying to the actors, let's improv all of this. Usually that doesn't happen. Either the director takes this role, the actors take this role, or a third party entirely takes the role. In movies and TV shows, sometimes there's an entire team of writers to do this. And they're the ones who give the lines for the actors to say. And they also give the director ideas to base their ideas upon. Now, of course, this is even more important among playwrights because without them, directors usually pick the plays after they're written instead of TV shows where they kind of go with it. So my first encounter with playwriting is back in like about 10th grade. And a group of us came together and it was about the song Carry On My Wayward Son by Kansas. It was a tragedy. It was very tragic. And even if looking back at it, it was a tragic experience being part of it sometimes. But we came together, we looked at it, thinking, listening to the song over and over in our heads. And eventually, we came up across the idea that it was overcoming challenge. What happened after overcoming the challenge? They agreed it was about living life. I thought to myself, after hearing a door slam and jumping afterwards, I realized it was about, it could have been about overcoming challenge and not exactly living life. I had a very dark mentality back then and I can't blame myself. So they humored me and engaged along the idea. And we did pretty well on the project, can't say that. And it worked pretty well. And after the project was done, they forgot about it, which happens a lot sometimes. So we worked together and then afterwards, no one remembered it. I kept it though in my head because it wouldn't leave me alone. And when I moved here, I thought it was gonna go away. But funny thing about ideas, they kind of stay in your head. So if you listen, it works. And I went to the troop here. It was a pretty interesting time for me because I was the new kid on the block. And I said to them, hey, I want to write a play. And they said, go for it. Just remember to keep us in the loop. And so I wrote the play down, which had been festering my, in my mind for about a year at that point. And it worked okay. They had a bunch of feedback, and I said, great. And they told me it was really dark and depressing. So I took that advice, and I added a nice lighthearted scene. I thank them now because that's now one of my favorite scenes in the play. I didn't know how well I did until I took it to district competition. It went to states, and then after that it got excellence at states, which is pretty good for the first play you've ever done. And so after that, I decided, why not do another one? I decided to tackle a comedy. How, a lot of people have seen comedies, and you think that they're really fun and easy to do. It's not easy to be funny. Comedy can be hard and sometimes painful. I went, walked in thinking, hey, I was told to do a spy parody because that would be a fun idea. And I also thought about talking to my cousin. What if there was a play about cheese? I combined those two ideas. It seemed hilarious to me at the time, but in hindsight, I wasn't invested in the characters. No one else was invested in the characters, and it seemed like a collection of puns. I've realized this as writing this because I had writer's block and all that fun stuff. That's just a sign that it's not working. But appreciate those who can do comedy because it's not easy at all. And so I got, I got some feedback from the district and they told me it should be improved and I'm using that feedback and it's working. 
it's slowly coming together. I'm still working on it now. But it's somehow it's all coming together, and I'm realizing it can be fun to be funny. But don't assume just because you're funny in real life that you can be funny when writing things down. But in overall, give credit where credit is due and appreciate more than what is seen because all of this stuff happens before the director or actors even see the script. So thank you for listening to me. Uh.